Hey, what's going on, everyone? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into us before. This is Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum05. Hello. And welcome to another Lombard Bros Talk show after a couple <laughs> weeks. First up, are you serious right now? Can you not cough when I'm trying to talk? Sorry. All right, cool. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, first off, do want to apologize that we did not have a talk show last week. We had technical difficulties uh, last week. We don't, uh, I honestly still don't know what happened last week, but we had technical issues and it seems like uh, everything is working properly this time this week. Uh, so hopefully uh, things would hold its ground. Hopefully things will work. Uh, but anyways, uh, Zach, hi. Hi. Uh, what's up? Uh. That's it? Still trying to recover from a cold that I had. Just, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still just getting rid of being sick. I'm, <coughs> yeah, I'm still kind of, I think I'm 90% better. I got sick a few few days ago, and I, I'm just kind of around 90% better. As of right now, I'm just coughing out, just draining, you know that? Yeah. Because oh. the last couple of days I've had a sore throat. Yeah. By the way, guys... First uh, talk show with the new setup. Um, yep, this is our new desk. Um, still need to do a few tweaks on it, but this is mainly what it's supposed to look like. Um, I do here's I do apologize about this glare on the TV screen. We will be using this TV soon for stuff, but today we're not going to use it. We apologize for the glare. Um, it didn't cross our minds when when we were putting together the studio. Um, and where we were in the TV. This glare, um, it, what you're seeing is, is the window from the other side of the studio. And it has blinds on it, but we just uh, didn't buy the proper blinds. Uh, or I would say it's kind of my fault because I was the one that chose the blinds for the uh, windows in here. And so it didn't cross my mind that probably not a good idea to use those blinds when we have a TV screen here. So we will get it together. We will uh, figure out how we're gonna properly set this up. But this is kind of like a little sneak peek uh, with our new desk. We're adding more stuff onto this desk. I know all we have is like the two die cast. Um, yeah, that's what we were, uh, that's what I was thinking at one point, uh, Brendan, blackout blinds. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Say those white blinds, black blinds. Well, we'll figure something out, um, but um, but we're thinking about adding more stuff to the desk than this. I know that that's still kind of what it kind of still looks empty. All we have is the two Ryan C diecast, and then I'll be talking about this in just a minute. But it's it's a it's still a few tweaks need to be done. But um, this is really our new talk show desk, and we'll be using this desk, I would assume, for other things too. But this will do right now. But uh, uh, six days for this whole desk to be built. I mean, not six straight days. I mean, there was some time off, but like it literally took six total days to build this desk. And it turned out great. If you guys saw pics of it um, on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter um, of the new desk, that's what it looks like. Um, we would like, um, in front of the desk, uh, it has blue white paint with our Lombard Bros gaming logo. I would like to eventually find a way where um, maybe we can use some a camera other than a webcam because the webcam is, that's what we're using as a webcam. And of course the webcam is plugged into the laptop. But I wanna use something other than a webcam where I'm not limited on uh, putting the webcam as far back. I would like for you guys to be able to see our logo. We would like to have our logo on the TV screen as well, but like I said, <coughs> sorry about that, guys, but like I said, so some things to need to be worked out, but so this will do for now. Uh, of course, we'll work on it some more, and it will definitely look better, hopefully, in the coming weeks. So other than this new desk, um, Zach, how you doing? Oh, by the way, I like how our chairs are... Our chairs are literally bar stools. Um, you can twist and turn. Yeah, they're bar stools. They're comfy, too. Yeah, they're nice, you know. I need to uh, tighten these handles a little bit more. They're kind of a little loose. Yeah. But uh, anyways, what's up, Zach? Uh, how is your day going, though? You've been having an eventful Monday. 
I will say. Oh, yes, I have. Zach has had an eventful Monday. Would you like to ex- explain <clears throat> what happened? Okay, so this morning, well, after I left my home, first stop before I came here, I had to go to the post office, drop off a couple of letters for mom, but apparently on the way there, I was trying to make a right turn on a local street. Out of nowhere, there was a trash can, and then I ended up hitting it, busting my passenger mirror. Where was this trash can? Like, like, wait, what street was this on? It was like facing west on Royal, before making a right turn on Cinderella. Oh, wait, so you you went on Royal first, and then, I know what coin you're talking about, then you were turning on Cinderella, and then, why was it, wait... Although, I mean, so much trash can here. There's a house I know in that corner. And I, what? What? I, like, it was just sitting. I mean, were there other trash cans there? Uh, or was it just one trash can? There it was. There was a couple of trash cans there. Oh, okay. So, I guess that's where they normally put their trash cans, right? You see, the thing is, <clears throat> I thought all trash cans were on the sidewalk. Apparently, out of nowhere, there was one well, sitting on the side of the street. Wait, was it on the street? Oh, well, I mean, but was it by the curb? Was it, like, on the curb? Yeah, but that's where our trash cans always are. You have to put them on the, on, on the street by the curb. Wait, was this trash can on the, like, the corner? Or, like, were you, like, was it literally on the corner? It was on the corner. Why was, okay, was it closer to the intersection or, like, away from, like, the corner? It was closer to the intersection. Okay, well, I don't think it should be there, but, like, um, but, um, no, but, <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, trash cans are supposed to be on the street by the curb, and it was on the curb, right? Like, laying on, against the curb? Yeah. But, mm, I don't know. But, um, uh, every result, you bust in your mirror. Is what you say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let me see here. <clears throat> wait, hold on. So, wait, let me see something here. Uh, well, what the? How did my our thing get? Yeah, <laughs> interior gang zag. Like, like, like. When this police? Um. Hey. Anyway, okay. This would do. So, that's Zach's side mirror. Well, was, and now gone. Um, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Wow, it like ripped. Yeah, as you can see, it left a mark <laughs> on the window. I'm glad that the window didn't break. Is though. that a scratch or a mark on the window? It's a mark on the window. I just told you that it was a mark on the okay, window. Okay, I'm, look, Isaac, I'm, <clears throat> look, it could be mark, scratch, whatever, you know, I'm, you know. <laughs> Where were you on the morning of April 22nd, 2019 at, what, 9? 30 or something? I don't know. What was... It was just about af- after 9, 9 a.m. this morning. <laughs> it was after 9 a.m. Okay. Okay, then. Where were you on the morning of April 22nd, 2019 after 9 a.m.? Oh, well, I was at... I was you, were turning, you were turning the corner and a, there was a trash can. And yeah. Just near. Well, anyways, um, it looked like... Um, I mean, what, you stopped, you had to go get that mirror, huh? Yeah, I had to. Was the mirror lying on the street, or did it, it end up on the sidewalk? It it was, like, between the street and the sidewalk, oh. like, laying on the... Oh, dang, that sucks. So what, like, <clears throat> you have to go take it in, right? It looked like it ripped, I mean, it looked like even the... the it was the a loud plates, bang, too. Well, it looked like the plates are even off. The, like like if you look at this picture, it looks like it's it's busted the plates and stuff. So. Yeah, every, it's all busted. So this whole thing has to be replaced. Yeah, and I guarantee that's the marking from the wind from the mirror, like the back of the mirror, like uh, this marking. Like I'm talking about, like you know the black rubber. Yeah, it just wiped that mirror or that window. Yeah, dude. Again, I'm just glad that the window didn't break. Oh yeah, see yours. Your car, some cars where you can fold your mirror, your mirror in. My yeah. car does that. Where if like let's say if I uh, and they usually do this at car washes too. Like um, the like, Jeep does that too. Well, like they uh, I think mine can go both ways. I think mine can go <coughs> both ways where you can just close them or open them. Um, but yours is like still so like you hit something and it's gonna come off. 
with mine, it might just close to my window, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know if mom's car has folding mirrors, though. I don't know. I mirrors. don't know, but I know my car does, because I've, uh, so I'll give you a couple examples, and it's happened twice, but you know, um, like at the drive through, you like, you go to a drive through at somewhere, and uh, of course, like, at the at the window it's like also i would say like glue tray or sometimes they have those poles so my mirror has hit that a couple of times it just closed my mirror so i have to open up the window just try to push it back you know so i mean but at least they can order it now and yeah. so by the time you take it next monday it should be there yeah that might take only that day you might be able to drop it off that morning and pick it up later that day because what it looks like they could just take that <clears throat> piece out and then put it but just replace it. Well, it depends on how bad the damage is, though. Because, look, it, it just looks like the plate is busted. Like, you see here? It just looks like the plate is busted. Um, but, I, uh, I, I don't know. I, it looks like they can replace the whole plate or something. I, I don't know. I have no... Wait, what do you mean what's on the desk? Hold on, mother. Can you, like... Be patient, we will get there. Jeez, mom's rushing me like, what's on the desk? It's like, we'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, but like I said, that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. That sucks. Mondays are great, aren't they? Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> mom's like, I don't want to hold on and stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, so, by the way, guys, special guest, um, Josh Balicki, who is... Uh, part-time Xfinity driver for Ryan Seag Racing. He's another driver for Ryan Seag Racing. Uh, he's going to be joining us on the talk show in just a matter of minutes. Uh, we'll talk to him for a few minutes, um, see where he came from, how he got into racing. Maybe you guys can ask him some questions, but we're going to have him on the show in a little while. So, um, by the way, we are announcing the giveaway winner today of the Ryan Seag diecast, and people has to, whoever the winner is, has a choice of having the 28, uh, 2019 diecast or the 2018 diecast. But before we get to that, I'm gonna close this. Uh, I'm gonna close this up just in case if I knock my hand down, you know, at it. So I was gonna talk about this um, last week, but we had technical issues. So if you guys are wondering what this is, so. Um, last Saturday night, not this past Saturday, but the last Saturday, um, um, I was at Irwindale Speedway, and, uh, Ryan Vargas, of course, Lombard Bros Gaming is sponsoring Ryan Vargas for his late mile season out here on the West Coast and the East Coast as well. Well, he finished second in both races in Irwindale last Saturday night, and he decided, he decided to give us his trophy, and I, I'm like, I'm like, dude, no, you don't have to give us this, you earned it tonight, you know? And he's like, no, no, I want you to have this, a trophy, you know? And I'm like, dude, are you serious? <laughs> are you sure? And he's like, yeah, keep the trophy. It's yours, you know? And I'm like, I, so it's Ryan Vargas' uh, second place plaque, his trophy, when he finished second last week in Irwindale. But you know that uh, win he got last month? He's like, I'm keeping that trophy, <laughs> you know? I'm like, you better keep that trophy. I don't want it, you know? So... Ryan Vargas uh, gave us his second place trophy, which I think is pretty cool. But um, I, I didn't expect him to do that. Like, literally, I'm like, I'm telling him, I don't want this. I don't want this. You should have it. You earned it. But no, nah, he's like, no, nah, you better keep it, you know? Um, so we got that trophy. So, but speaking of the Ryan Seek diecast giveaway. Uh, we were going to announce the winner last week, but of course we had technical issues, but we're doing it this week. So what we have here is the container of all the names of the giveaway uh, participants. Uh, again, the winner gets to choose either the 2018 Ryan Seed Diecast or the 2019 Ryan Seed Diecast. Um, of course, we got more Ryan Seed Diecast for the giveaway winner, but this is this is ours, but... Anyway, so I guess you're going to pick the winner this time, right? Yeah, because you did it last time. I did last time, but I'm going to do the... You know what? Hold on. Close this up again. We're going to shake this up really good. We got to give it a good shake, you know? Giving it a good shake. Okay, I'm going to 
stop. I think that's good enough, right? All right, so Zach, I want you to pull out a winner, and we'll see who wins this week or this time's uh, um, giveaway winner. All right, let's see. And the winner for the giveaway is Colin James Maybe. Wait, let me see. Um, Colin James Maybe on Facebook. Let me try to reach that. See, so you people can read that. Thing. Oh, the lighting. So bad. By the way, I do want to apologize for the lighting kind of bad. I know the camera quality looks kind of bad. It's mainly because of the lighting. But um, let me see. Colin James Maybe. It's spelled, okay, and maybe spells M-A-Y-B-E-E, -E, not like the actual word of maybe, but uh, his name is Colin. Thank you, Colin, for the, uh, the winner, for winning the giveaway. Uh, our mom will contact you on Facebook because that's where you uh, entered from. I want you to give this to her. Yeah, I will give Yeah, that. I want you to give that to her when you go back home. But uh, we will have... Um, <clears throat> We will have another uh, Ryan Seat Diecast giveaway uh, next month. Is it next month? We're having another one next month. Yeah. Hopefully, Mom can clarify that for me. I want to know when. But soon, guys, we'll have another Ryan Seat Diecast giveaway. So if you did not win this one, you have another opportunity next time. But for those that did participate in this giveaway, I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, maybe better luck next time for some of you. But Colin, thank you so much. For participating, and congrats on winning the Ryan C. Diecast, either 2018 or 2019. So, in a few minutes, we're going to have uh, Josh Balicki on. Um, Zach, is there anything you want to talk about? Well, <clears throat> I guess since I wasn't able to talk about the cars last week, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about last week's cars since there was not one yesterday because due to Easter Sunday. Right. So... <clears throat> Last Sunday, my favorite car came out, and that was the 1947 Packard Super Clipper. So, and the good news about that day is that we've had a lot of customers that showed up, and and that car was the most popular one out there, which oh, yeah? that was nice. And guess who happened to be the driver most of the time? You. Yes. <laughs> but see, the thing is, we only had two or three drivers that Sunday. We usually get more than that, but... Right. It's just that for a reason, we only had three. Only three? <clears throat> yeah. What? Anyways, Bro. the other two cars that came out was a 1962 Chevrolet Impala, which was originally supposed to be a 1957 Lincoln Premier Convertible, but... Unfortunately, that one had problems. I don't know what kind of problem it had, but we replaced that one with the Impella. And the last car we had out was a 63 Avanti. Yeah. Cool. Um, real quick, uh, next Ryan Seat Diecast giveaway will be on, will start on Monday, May 20th. But... Ne that next Monday is Memorial Day. I'm not doing a talk show on Memorial Day. No. It's a holiday. So I do want to remind you guys, like you see in chat, Monday, May 20th is the next Ryan C giveaway, uh, diecast giveaway. But we won't announce the winner until two weeks after because that next Monday is, the, uh, is Memorial Day. And that's a holiday. Oh, the... Mom! Better information next time. Why would you say, oh yeah, the giveaway is Monday, May 20th, but, oh, but it starts May 13th. How about you say, how about you say, the next Ryan C. Diecast starts on May 13th and the giveaway winner announced on May 20th. You should have done it that way. Mom, my brain can't process that. Okay? Jesus. When does your brain ever work? You know what? Can you say, I this? I'm snapping at mom right now, okay? Can you? Can you just sit there? Sorry, just sit there and look gullible, okay? Just look cute and stuff. Anyways, mom, next time, do it right. Just how about you say May 13th first? It will start May 13th. And then the winner is announced May 20th. Please, okay? My brain cannot process that well. You know better. Again, when does your brain ever work? I said stay out of it. Anyways, my rant is over. Okay. 
God. Mother in her 60s and her brain is rotting. Um, I don't care to say that. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, is there anything else you want to talk about before we get Josh Balicki on? As of right now, I do, but I would wait until we have the guest. Okay. Well, what 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 was it going to be? Well, I went... Well... Okay, we're just going to go straight to the guest, okay? By the way, again, guys, I I do apologize that the lighting is kind of bad. We are going to get better lighting and stuff. And we're probably going to get a camera where we don't have to use a webcam. I know there's cameras for that where we don't have to use a webcam because, I mean, I this is the core for the webcam and I can only put it out that far. And sometimes webcam quality ain't that good. And it, like I said, depends on light. Okay. I'm going to get Josh Balicki on, okay? Josh Balicki will be on, will be talking with us for a few minutes. And after that, if you guys have any questions for him, feel free. But let's see if we could get him on the line now. Actually, ooh, I was glad that was closed. <coughs> Can you hand me that container? Because I am not holding this phone, okay? Watch this. <laughs> yeah. Lazy. Sooner or later, we got to figure out a way where we could do talk show. We could do call-ins, like, yeah. like, on that Collins where we could do it from here, you know, and we'll have to use our cell phone. So we're going to give them a call right now. Hey, this is Josh. Hey, Josh Balicki, you there? Yep. How's it going? Doing good, man. How about yourself? How are you? Good. Hey, thank you guys for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, no problem. My, my pleasure, man. Well, first off, dude, I want to ask, uh, um, how was your Easter, man? My Easter was great. Um, it, it's always nice to spend time with my family. And we went to my girlfriend's side for a little bit, spent time with her family, which is my side. My mom's side has a, a very large family, um, you know, 30 or 40 people there. So it's always nice to catch up. And have everybody ask you about racing. Um, it, it's just really nice to uh, see everyone. It was beautiful too. You know, I still live up here in Wisconsin, and it was uh, seventy-five degrees and sunny, so I couldn't really ask for a much better day. Yeah, it was basically the same weather over here too, so it was pretty nice. Well, buddy, I do want to ask you. Obviously, uh, we would like to get to know about you more. So, uh, if you would like uh, to explain to the viewers uh, who you are and uh, what got you in the racing, man. Yeah, so, you know, this is going to be my 19th year of racing. Um, my dad got me into go-karts when I was four and a half, uh, just racing up here in Wisconsin. Uh, my dad was always a uh, avid race fan, and then he decided to go racing himself in 1995. So he built a 1965 Mustang. Uh, he turned it into a race car. So he raced as a hobby, and, you know, ever since I was a, a young child, young baby even you know i was going to the racetrack and you know naturally i just fell in love with it you know as you see a lot a lot of up and coming racers you know their parents race or some some form of racing so you know i uh, started racing go-karts when i was four and i always ran road courses um you know growing up my niche was road course racing and i started racing scca and spec miata when i was 14 um and that's uh really competitive racing really low horsepower cars you know 125 horsepower at most um but you know they, they teach you really good craft and you know i got lucky and i, I had a couple of great sponsors that took me to pro sports car racing in imza i ran a couple of imza races and then um i had the opportunity to race the nascar race at road america and that kind of led to uh my, my career shift into nascar you know my first oval start was really in the nascar xfinity series at phoenix so to this day, you know, I, I'm learning every time I go out there on, on an oval. Um, you know, I, I've only raced one late model race, whereas most of these guys growing up I'm racing against, you know, they have a, a lot of oval starts in late models or whether it's on dirt. But, you know, I don't have that. I, I have road course experience. So I'm always learning out there. Uh, but you see a lot of these guys race a lot of different things. You know, I, I look up to guys like Kyle, Kyle Larson and even Christopher Bell, even though he's my age, you know. You see him racing something every weekend, and that's kind of how I like to be and how I try to be, too. You know, race something all, all that I can, and any seat time is positive. Awesome, man. Well, I do um, want to ask you, uh, so how did you uh, 
How did you really get involved uh, with Ryan Sieg Racing for 2019? Because you're you're a new driver for the team. Um, I mean, obviously you're doing part time. Uh, so, uh, what's your schedule looking like for the season? And um, you know, uh, how are you enjoying uh, being with Ryan Sieg Racing? I'm loving being with the team. You know, it's a huge step up from any other team I've I've been with, and the cars are competitive. The people at at, at the track. And, that are employed by RSS Racing, you know, they're they're great. They've been around the sport for a long time, so it's really valuable to learn from from guys like that. And even my teammate Jeff Green, you know, he's been around for for a long time, and Ryan too. Now, you know, they're both veterans of the sport, and it's really good to learn from them. Um, I, I am going to race most of these races. Uh, you know, I, I miss Richmond just due to sponsorship, but I think you know, you can expect to see me at almost all of the remaining races. Maybe maybe. Uh, one or two I'll sit out, just depending on sponsorship, but I'll be in the car for almost all of them. So it's just been a really good experience with the team. You know, they're treating me really well, and, you know, I dig all I can for sponsors so we, we can race the whole race. Awesome. Well, um, we uh, I heard that you're going to be racing this weekend at Talladega. Is that correct? I will, yes. So what – Talladega, obviously – it's either you either get out of there um, in one piece or not. Um, and obviously a lot of strategies of all you guys are pack racing. Um, uh, what, what's your expectations out there? What are, what's your strategy to make it to the checker flag in one piece? Well, I definitely have pretty high expectations. Um, you know, the, the car that I'm in is very capable of winning and running up front. Uh, Daytona was a little bit of an odd race. You know, I had some, I wasn't aggressive enough in Daytona. Um, we had some other little, little things that cost us a solid finish too. But I really would like to see all three Ryan Sieg racing cars uh, finish top ten, and that's very capable too. You know, these guys put a lot of hard work in over the uh, over the last couple of weeks on our cars. And my expectation is basically to get my career best finish, which right now is twelfth at Road America from twenty seventeen. I'd like to beat that. You know, I'd like to be top ten or even top five, and I don't think a top five finish for us and for our cars are. I don't think that's unrealistic. I think that's very realistic, and I think that'd be career day for me and even our sponsors too. So, you know, for us to go there and win would be huge. You know, a top five for us is a win. Obviously, even with Ryan finishing fifth last weekend in Richmond, you know, that's a win for them. But I know we're all hungry for the win. You know, I'd be very happy to see one of my teammates win, but at the same time. I'd be even happier to get that win. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. Talladega, anything can happen. You know, like you said, you either go out of there with a solid finish or you go out there on the record. Um, hopefully we don't go out, out of there on a the record, but we're going to race to win. Awesome. Well, I know uh, um, you are releasing a sponsorship announcement tomorrow. Do you know what time or when we're expecting a sponsorship announcement tomorrow? I'm going to say it's around midday. There's no specific time right now. There's still some moving puzzle pieces, but it'll be out tomorrow, and it's going to be pretty exciting. You know, it's going to be a a, a big piece. You know, I'm very I'm very thankful to have them coming on board. Awesome. Well, I do want to ask um, because I I have access to your driver Sam Ryan himself before too. Um, so, do you uh, use like a tool to help you get prepared for a race? Like you you got eye racing out there, for example, or you got. Um, some other drivers do other things to prepare for themselves for a race. Uh, do, do you have any preparations uh, for a race weekend? I do a lot of iRacing. My computer isn't the best, so it's a little bit slow, but I, I try to get on iRacing before every race weekend. Um, even last weekend, Noah Gregson and I and a couple other drivers and and uh, just a lot of fans, we were on iRacing together at Talladega. And that's a lot of fun getting on iRacing with them. Um, but iRacing is really good to pick up visuals and pick up turning points and braking points, especially for road courses. And, you know, just go through the motions. So when you get to the track and you go out for the, for the first practice laps of the day, you know, you kind of feel like you've already been there. So I do a lot of iRacing, but also a lot of YouTube, too. Um, I don't want to share too many secrets, but there are a lot of onboard videos, even from last year, um, with the same configurations in our cars that are, uh, you know, on YouTube. And I try to watch onboard videos all I can you know I'll watch I'll watch two or three onboard videos from Talladega last year or the last couple of years just to prep myself and learn all I can like I said you know coming from a different background I, I still have a lot to learn and especially with the draft so I've probably watched 10 hours so far uh just preparing for Talladega 
Awesome. Well, um, we do uh, want uh, our viewers to ask you a few questions. So, uh, viewers, uh, if you guys would like to ask Josh any questions, uh, we'll read them out to him, and then he could try to answer as many as possible. Uh, but if you guys do want to follow Josh Belisky, uh, Belicky, I'm sorry, uh, he has Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. It's in the uh, <laughs> chat right now, so check him out. Keep up to date with this racing career. Um, he's a really nice guy, like I said, uh, very new to uh, Ryan Seat Racing. Uh, he's a very nice guy. So, um, uh, so first question comes from uh, uh, Jamie. Uh, so, Josh, uh, what tracks did you race uh, when you raced in IMSA? And what's your favorite track when you were in that series? Uh, I ran almost every road course from my home track of Road America to Circuit of the Americas in texas uh, i ran the daytona road course and the oval obviously in nascar but my favorite's gonna be road america it's my home track i have a lot of really good memories there it's a beautiful course um for somebody that's never been there it's it's a four mile track so it's first lap times are up there about two minute 15 seconds anywhere to a two minute 50 second lap um, I was actually just there this past weekend with a race team called Round 3 Racing. Uh, we ran a Porsche. So that's my favorite track. I have a lot of good memories there. That's where I made my first pro racing debut in IMSA. So that's definitely my uh, number one track. Awesome. Uh, so, Josh, what do you do in your spare time? Obviously, you guys just haven't – you just had an off weekend. Uh, but, like, throughout the season or even off season, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, you know, my spare time consists of always pursuing more sponsors. You know, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes that most people don't know. You know, I secure all my own sponsorship. I work really hard on that. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of sponsor work, a lot of computer work. Um, other than that, you know, I really like to go just be outdoors, you know, whether it's hiking or on the lake or, um, you know, just at the racetrack. You know, I always try to find myself at the racetrack no matter what. But just really being outdoors, I really like to be outdoors and, you know, whether it's hiking or whether it's just uh, on my bike, you know, just being outdoors. Awesome. Um, Josh, did you have a favorite NASCAR driver or even a driver from other, other types of racing and stuff? Uh, who did you look up to? Growing up, it was always – I had a few. Jeff Gordon was definitely up there. You know, I always remember seeing his rainbow – colors race car you know i always played him on, on my playstation one playstation two he it was definitely somebody i looked up to and it was really cool to meet him a couple of years ago in sonoma for my cup series debut uh, and then also michael schumacher who uh, ran formula one you know he was a uh, fantastic driver um but you know those two are two drivers i always looked up to growing up awesome um, I do want to ask you, do you have a dream car that you always want or you have, but do you have like a dream car that, that you want? Oh man, that's tough. Um, I'm a big European car guy. I'd really like to drive, or I'd really like to have a Porsche 911. I've driven many Porsches, but they're realistic. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty comfortable to drive, especially the new cars, but you know, it's just not in my budget right now, but you know, that's a realistic car to have. Um, an unrealistic car to have would probably be like a, I don't even know, you know, a Bugatti or something crazy like that. You know, they're cool. Uh, they're stupid fast. But, you know, a more realistic car would be a Porsche. Well, uh, we have some guy in chat named uh, Sean Timmerman, uh, and he wanted to ask if, if he looks, if you look up to him on the high racing. I do. Sean is fantastic on high racing. He is the best eye racer I've ever raced with. He helps me out with setups. Um, I mean, anytime we go on and he's on, you know, he joins my lobby or I join his lobby. And he's always usually a tenth quicker than I am. Um, there was one time we were on iRacing. I forget where we were, but he was, I was a tenth quicker than him. And I think he went back on for half an hour, hour, just to try to beat my time. And eventually he did. Um, but, I mean, I've never seen anybody quicker on iRacing than, than, than him, so he helps me a lot, and I appreciate that. All right. Well, we got uh, – what uh, – Josh, uh, next question is, what is your favorite wh – what's your favorite food, man? My favorite food? That's tough. I really like macaroni and cheese, uh, whether it's Velveeta. You know, it has to be the special kind, not just the normal kind. 
uh, really like macaroni and cheese and pizza too. Oh, dude, my <laughs> my brother's like, oh yeah, mac and cheese, man. I, I love you for that because that's literally his favorite. Um, pizza, I'm a pizza guy too. Every now and then too, I'll go get me a good slice of pizza. So, uh, but literally, uh, my brother Zach over here, he was like, oh yeah, I, I like your answer there. Uh, I, I'm getting hungry right now talking about. <laughs> well, what is it around dinner time right now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, five thirty here in Wisconsin. Six thirty by you, so. Maybe I'll make some mac and cheese after this. All right, what well, get get some good mac and cheese after this show? Uh, nice. Uh, well, uh, um, Josh, um, one last question here. Um, obviously, it seemed like you have played video games before. Did you have a favorite video game, whether it's racing related or just anything else? Yeah, I definitely did. It's always been Gran Turismo. Um, you know, Gran Turismo One was released a little bit before I was born, I believe. But I always play Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2 on PlayStation 1. I play Gran Turismo 3, Gran Turismo 4, and Gran Turismo 5 on PlayStation 2. All the way up to the newest Gran Turismo Sport. Um, you know, there's a lot of fun. I've spent days and days and days on Gran Turismo. And I think that a lot of people, you know, my age, really credit their uh, their passion for racing to uh, Gran Turismo, which is a really cool game. Uh, I was, I've always played PlayStation instead of Xbox, you know. I don't mind Xbox. I've just always had PlayStation. That's what my parents really grew up with. That's what my dad got me. So, Gran Turismo for sure. And I like to play Call of Duty a little bit. But if I had to pick just one, it'd be Gran Turismo. Awesome, man. Well, uh, Josh, um, you know, uh, it's it's uh, it's an honor to have you on the show today. I'm glad you got, uh, you were able to take the time to be on you today. Is there anybody you got to give a shout out to and got to thank uh, for your opportunity of where you're at right now? I have a lot of people to thank. Obviously, my parents, my dad for getting me into karting and, and really sacrificing a lot of his life, too, you know, to get me where I'm at today. You know, there's been a lot of a lot of late nights in the garage working on our own race cars. But, you know, at the end of, end of the day, it paid off to get where we were at. You know, I don't think we ever really expected for me to come this far. So it's really cool to, uh, to be this far. You know, I credit a lot to my dad. Obviously, this year, you know, I really hats off to Ryan Sieg and Rod Sieg for having me on the team. You know, it's been a great... It's been a really awesome year, you know, where I'm at this year versus where I'm at last year. You know, I'm, I'm really happy and just just a lot of fun this year. So I really want to thank all of them and all of my great sponsors, too, this year. Uh, it's been a great year, and I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting a, my career best finish this next weekend at Talladega. All right. Well, Josh, again, it was a pleasure to have you on today. I want to thank you so much for taking the time today. And uh, definitely, uh, we're excited to see what your sponsor is, uh, your sponsor announcement is tomorrow. See what you can be, what's going to be on the card for this week at Talladega. And of course, wish you the best of luck to you and uh, Ryan Sieg Racing out of Talladega. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate what you guys do, your support for the team, and for having me on the show. It means a lot to me, and means a lot to uh, everybody on the Ryan Sieg Racing team too. Awesome, man. Well, buddy. Um, Go ahead, and if, if you are going to do this, go make some mac and cheese and enjoy the rest of your evening, man. I think I might. Hey, thank you guys again. I appreciate it. Yeah, take care, man. Josh Balicki, um, part-time driver for uh, Ryan C. Racing this year in 2019. Uh, I do want to thank him for taking the time today for being on the talk show. Uh, sounds like a really nice guy. He really um, is. And some interesting facts about him. Of course, he's always looking for sponsorship. Uh, he's going to announce a sponsorship tomorrow uh, that he's going to have this weekend at Talladega. So if you guys want to check out Josh Balicki on social media, his social media is in the chat right now. Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, if you want to help him out with sponsorship, uh, just go to RyanCRacing.com slash marketing or facebook.com slash josh balicki racing so um again thank you uh so much uh josh balicki for having him on today he seemed like a nice guy um i i like i like the answer that you liked i yeah. mean you raised your eyebrows you were like yes when he said his favorite food was mac and cheese now i'm not sure if he meant craft mac and cheese or homemade mac and cheese we didn't really get into detail yeah, about we that we didn't ask about but that, that was either. that was like you're like yes i like i, like I love that the craft i love the crafts mac and cheese yeah um but anyways guys give him a follow check him out on social media um 
and check them out. We have less than 20 minutes left of the talk show today. Uh, shout out to those that are watching the talk show right now. Thank you all for tuning in today and watching. Hope everyone's enjoying the talk show so far. I do apologize about the lighting in here. If you guys are wondering why the webcam quality is kind of like uh, stuff, we are still trying to upgrade. Obviously, we've upgraded to a new desk, and soon we're going to have stuff on this TV. Uh, and I know there's a bad glare in the background, something I didn't think about when I decided to choose some window blinds. Uh, we think about maybe maybe I'll switch out that blind at least for a blackout blind and stuff like Brendan suggested. Um, but we're still working on this area stuff, but it looks nice. It's something we really want to do. Um, but sooner or later we'll get some more stuff in. But um, um, anyways, uh, but hope you guys are still enjoying the talk show so far. So um, what? Uh, by the way, I do want to give. Uh, uh, sending out thoughts and prayers to the uh, Earnhardt family. Uh, unfortunately, Dale, Dale Jr. and, uh, of course, uh, his sister Kelly, uh, they both uh, lost their mother today uh, due to a long fight of cancer, which cancer is a hor horrible thing. You know, it's a horrible thing uh, for anybody to deal with uh, who oh, does yeah. have it because you just never know when it could take if it will take your life away because some people are able to beat cancer some of them you know they try yeah. the ballot and unfortunately they just lose that battle so i do want to give uh prayers out to the earnhardt family um I, of course you know of course remember um dale, dale jr he lost dale senior back in 2001 his father and now his mother so basically dale i mean obviously uh dale jr he's lost really both his parents yeah he did so um it's really a shame hopefully uh the earnhardt family is doing well i know it's a difficult day for them and like i said it's just all because of cancer it's just a evil disease and stuff you know and you just you you wish anybody that got cancer can oh anybody can beat it you know yeah it, like whether how long it takes to beat it eventually they're they be it, but unfortunately, it takes some people's lives away. Yeah, it's not an easy disease to battle with. Yep. She was born in 1954 and unfortunately died today on <laughs> April 22nd, 2019. So, um... I didn't realize her mother was that... I mean, not her. I didn't realize Dale Jr.'s mother was that young when Dale was born. Well, I mean, I don't know, but, um... But... Again, um, I, I, you know, I heard she was a really nice person uh, to the, from the Earnhardt family. And, of course, uh, you know, in the NASCAR community, too, you know, just a really nice person. I, I think I've only saw her one time. I forgot what racetrack it was at. I think it was Charlotte when we went a couple years ago. I thought I saw her walking around and stuff, but I never got to talk to her. But I heard she's she's really nice person. And, unfortunately... Uh, she lost her uh, life today due to cancer. So shout out to uh, the Earnhardt family uh, right now. But um, so we had Easter yesterday. It was kind of a chilled Easter. It was. It was a nice chilled Easter. Hope everyone in the <laughs> chat right now had um, had a good Easter as well. I mean, what yesterday? Um, you know, I came came over to mom's house, and um, you know, um, sister, husband. Grace came over. Yeah. Uh, we had some delicious barbecue. It was really good. Dude, I ate a lot yesterday. Did you see my plate? Yeah. Like, I had I had two plates. Now, I mean, I had two plates out, you know what I mean, of food. Everybody else had one plate, and yet here I am with two plates, make me even look fatter, you know? But I ate it all. I was hungry, and I'm glad I ate it all. You know, it was, it was delicious. So we had, like, barbecue yesterday, and then, um... And went swimming for a little while and then I was basically about it really didn't do much yesterday you know it was kind of a nice it was nice weather yesterday too yeah perfect day for Easter so um um but yeah um but I want I want you guys to tell us in chat what did you guys do for Easter I want you guys to say in chat right now what did you guys have for Easter I'm gonna um do that um, let's see, um, let's see, what'd you guys do? I had an okay Easter, spent most of it unlocking almost all the cars and Hot Wheels Turbo, what? You were playing Hot Wheels Turbo Racing yesterday? And spent almost all day unlocking cars? Nice. 
Spent Easter in the hospital. What'd you do? No, oh, wow. <coughs> or what happened? Maybe it wasn't because of you. Uh, you went to Buca di Peppo yesterday for lunch. Okay, nice. Uh, nice. You did nothing yesterday. That's fine. You ate food. Played project. You got project cards too. You played some twenty one in basketball. Nice. Twenty one question it was basketball. Nice. Nice. Um. So okay. Cool. What, what are you doing? I don't know. What are you, why are you kicking my desk? I didn't mean are you to. Real, are you for real right now, Zach? I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to. Play Minecraft? I see. I see. I can't remember when was the last time I played Minecraft. I'm having my Minecraft Monday stream tonight. Being number 16, the 16th week in a row. Basically, this is week, week 16 of 2019. Went to church and ate at Cracker Barrel. Went to church and ate. Nice. Okay. Good way spent. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. You spent Easter time uh, for my mom's friends. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Truck championship mode in SK3. Missed my English 115 class. Bro. Speaking of Cracker Barrel, you know they're opening one in Camarillo? I heard that. I want to go there. I say, they, they're saying it's supposed to open like... Uh, sometime in the beginning of next year, 2020. Oh, really? But, Mom, as soon as that place opens, we're going. We are going. I like Cracker Barrel. I, I like I like how old theme, <coughs> old theme Western it is. You know, looks nice. Of course, it's got a nice shot. I do like their chicken and dumplings. <coughs> they have chicken and dumplings there. Yeah. Good Lord, I need. In fact, a year ago when. When I met Alyssa. Sounds good to me, you paying. <coughs> me pay? Are you kidding? In fact, a year ago when the day Alyssa and I met, we went to Cracker Barrel for lunch. That was right next to the track. Oh, that's right. There is a Cracker Barrel. What? It's across from the track, is it? Or is it? Right next door from the track. <laughs> oh, okay. I gotcha. So, and then I, so I had the chicken dumplings there. It was good. Dang, I hate over being sick. I know, me too. I got That's sick of, going. like I said, I got sick a few days ago, and I'm still getting over it. Like, I'm in the coffin. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys can't hear me right now on how I sound, that's... Dude, my voice is back to normal, but the, Saturday and Sunday, my voice was, like, different. Yeah. Like, you even knew it. You even noticed that it sounded deeper. Literally, guys, my voice was like... Uh, 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 it uh, was. Uh, it uh, was. But no, it sounds fine now, but... <laughs> Jesus! We thought it was permanent. Help! <laughs> no, we literally thought that voice change was permanent. Not gonna lie. <laughs> God. <clears throat> but yeah, but yeah, as you can clearly see uh, how I sound, I'm still trying to get over some sickness as well, so I'm not 100% better yet. I had a sore throat for the past couple of days. I had one on... Fr Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday wasn't too bad. And of course, now that's gone. I'm just now in the process of coughing, like in a draining process. Dude, like literally, I'm sweating just coughing. Literally, I'm sweating coughing. By, by the way, happy birthday in one SC4. Oh, God. Hope you have right. a good one. I'm all right, guys. I'm not dying. At least not yet. I'm, you okay I, now? No, I want to live longer, you know? Yeah, I, I think. <coughs> I, wow, Jesus, why is this happening all of a sudden? You know? Yeah. I just, like, left the room, you know? <laughs> I just <laughs> left. Oh, my gosh. Um, I think I'm all right. I don't think I'm dying yet, am I? I, I hope not. I'm alright guys. I'm alright. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Are you dying too, really? Oh well, not. Oh okay. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Now I'm just trying to clear my throat. You know, the reason why I don't want to die yet because you know there's I still like to eat delicious food, you know. There's some good food in this world. I wanna enjoy it longer, you know. Um and also, you know, I feel like our Career is going a good direction right now. I would like to see it grow, you know? Yeah. But. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, I should just 
Yeah, we have less than 10 minutes of the talk show. Shout out to those that are watching the talk show right now. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. I hope everyone's enjoying the, sh the show so far. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to get over some sickness as well. Yeah, I think I think I'm good now. I think, I think I'm not gonna jinx anything, but I think I'm good. So, is there anything else you want to talk about? I guess I'll go ahead and mention the cars that are coming out this coming Sunday. Not that not that the museum will be back open this <coughs> weekend. Oh, by wait, the way, wait th for this weekend. Is the museum not open this weekend? It's open this weekend. It wasn't open. Oh, okay. I yeah, gotcha. that's what I said. Oh, I... Saturday there's going to be a car show there. It's a Malay's car show that's happening at the museum this Saturday that I'm going to. Again, if you don't know what a Malay's car show is, it's basically cars from around 1970 up till 1995. Ah, I see. You still so, okay? <clears throat> Whoa, you was eating a bacon cheeseburger. Nice. So anyways, the cars that are coming out this Sunday will be a 1947 Studebaker Champion Convertible, a 58 Studebaker the Hawk, and a 62 Chevy Impala. Nice. Oh, dude, bacon cheeseburger sounds so good right now. I can literally go to Five Guys and get a bacon cheeseburger. You know what I had? What? I haven't had Five Guys in forever. I mean, I, mean, I, think, the last, I think the last time I had Five Guys, and yet we live like 10 minutes away from it. It was 2016. I remember 2016 was the last time I got Five Guys. It's just Five Guys is pricey, but it's delicious. Yeah. I, I, um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but like re uh, lately, uh, it, of course they don't have it anymore right now. It was only limited time. But McDonald's had the Bacon Big Mac. The Bacon Big Mac? Yeah, where it's a, it's a Big Mac, but it's with bacon in it. Yeah. I had that, and let me tell you, <clears throat> Zach, I, I think... It was good. I, I love the Big Mac with bacon in it because, let me tell you this, I think um, by the time bacon, they had the bacon and the Big Mac until they went away, I think I had I had McDonald's several yeah. times just because I enjoyed the bacon Big Mac. I know there was also a bacon McDouble. I don't know if that's still yeah. out. No. Uh, but wasn't that, wasn't that been around for a while? Um... I know there was another type of McDouble that was out for a while, like, a, what was it, a double or a triple McDouble or something? Well, yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think that's there anymore. I, I, but like, uh, um, no, um, no, uh, but Bacon Big Mac was so delicious. I wonder if that was a limited time only thing. I don't know, but like, um, but normally, they usually bring out stuff limited time for now. Yeah. But if it gets a lot of good reviews, they'll bring it back permanently and stuff i've seen that you know where like what was it we tried like um before like i forgot what it was but like it was out for a limited time and then it was gone for a while but then i guess since it got a lot of good reviews they brought it back permanently you know i'm gonna be honest with you you know what i wish they would keep on the menu the big rib well ain't that only during the winter time yeah it's a limited time only thing yeah I wonder why they only do it for the winter. I don't know either. I, I don't know, but, um, but, no, but, like, when Big and Big Macs were out, I had, I went to McDonald's several times because that was just so good. And then when it was gone, it's like, ah, you know? But, no, seriously, I would like to go to Five Guys, get myself a bacon cheeseburger, because you know how you can make your own burger at Five Guys? Like, you just tell them what you want on it. Yeah. And tell them, just give me a, Give me a cheeseburger with bacon in it. Maybe some lettuce, some tomato, um, a little bit of onion in it. <clears throat> Which, you know, recently, Zach, and guys, no joke, for the longest time, I always liked the plain cheeseburger. I've always, I mean, I mean, maybe every now and then you add some other stuff, like, <clears throat> like bacon and stuff, but I never really liked having condiments in my burger, but I've really enjoyed lettuce in my burgers, uh, tomato, and sometimes onion too. Depends on the onion. Like I don't know. I'm stuck. I, I still don't like pickles. I still don't like pickles. I've never been a fan of pickles. I don't like onions. But um, no, I do like uh, those. Um, I do like those. Um, what 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 were they called? Like onion strings? Like you know? Remember you see them at uh, you see them at 
<laughs> like at Chili's or something. Now they have the it at Awesome uh, Blossom. Yeah, well, now they have something like that at Outback. You know, um, it's like fried onions. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I, I do like those, but yeah, um, you've tried Baja Blast Zero. What? There's a Baja Blast Zero. There's a Diet Baja. Bla- Wait, what? What? All right. No, I've not tried it, and I probably will not because I do like regular Baja Blast, which I do have some in the fridge. But, anyways. Oh, the Blue Moon. Yeah, okay. that's what it's called. That's what. Dude, that's so silly. I haven't went to Out- I. <laughs> it's been so long since <clears throat> I went to Outback. I think the beginning of 2016 was the last time I went. Oh, really? Yeah. But, um... Anyways, uh, we have a couple minutes left in the talk show. Zach, anything else you want to point out before we end this off? Uh, sure. I just want to say that you look marvelous. No, I don't. I know you're lying about that, Zach. When you're sick, you don't look marvelous. I mean, look, does this guy's look marvelous? See, <laughs> right? Does it look? Mar- no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I know. I was just joking. Well, speaking of dinner, I think my dinner will be leftovers from that barbecue because, like, I brought home some barbecue, <clears throat> you know? I'm going to eat some more of those rolls, which... You tried the rolls with that barbecue sauce yesterday. How was it? That was, I, that I, was I, really I like good. it. Yeah, I've always done that. Now, I mean, at first, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if this is good, but I'm going to try it. You know? Yeah. I've tried that, what, two, three years ago? <laughs> I kind of liked the sense. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Oh, if I don't call like this next week. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna eat some of that leftover barbecue. <clears throat> she brought me home some tri tip and some uh, some other stuff like some of the beans and rolls and uh, um, mashed potatoes and stuff. I'm gonna have some of that. It's gonna be so delicious. Rice peel off. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, oh, we have ribs too. Like my gosh, she she brought me home everything. I, uh, of course, she brought me stuff that I could put... I might have to freeze some of that. Put it in the freezer, you know? I might have to do that. But, okay, I think we're going to end the talk show, guys, because, man, if I keep coughing like this, I'm, I'm going to die right here on this talk show. And you guys are going to see me like... <laughs> you know? Um, next week, guys, next week's talk show, we're actually going to have Kamikaze Games join us next week on the talk show. We were supposed to have them on last week, but unfortunately, we had technical issue so we wasn't able to have them on last week so kamikaze games will be on next week and tomorrow is that you're streaming uh night squad on steam yeah on steam on lumbar bros gaming twitch chow so you guys enjoy the rest of your monday in about an hour i'm gonna be having my minecraft monday stream on my youtube channel so if you guys want to tune in for that you're more than welcome to uh anyways guys take care have a good one joseph lombard aka and 2 sc4 with zachary lombard aka magnum 5 You all have a great rest of your Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.